career end up as the defeated fighters in the bronze medal matches. And the medals are going to be divided up between Mongolia, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan and Iran. How about that? Said Molai, who defeated George of Indonesia in the early going. Gao of China and then Li of Korea. Kamza, who defeated Terada of Thailand. Otkon Batar, whom we've just seen. And then Sasaki of Japan. So they've done things the hard way. What's this final going to be like? Said Molei was the best ranked Asian judoka at the World Championships in 2017, where he got bronze. Won the Grand Slam in Dusseldorf this year. Appeals. And the referee is going to have a look. She's already sanctioned the pair of them. The judges having none of it. Complaints from the Kazakhstan camp. Molay will fancy himself for this final. Comes up very much the ambitious outsider. Molly with the those medals that we spoke about. Comes up 21 years old, 15th of February. So the day after Valentine's Day and the day before my birthday. He's ranked. 72 in the world at under 81 and 78 in the world at under 73. So he very much an outsider. Both of them with sanctions. Both of them with two sanctions. So that could be the decider for this gold medal match, which would be a shame. The two of them thinking we've got the Jap Japanese and Korean judokas out of the way. The gold is there for the taking, but they, they don't want to take too many risks. Wazari goes the way of Molay. Now, can he hold his opponent? The referee's going to come around and have a look. It's not looking on at the moment. The referee calls them apart, but Molay is... 100 seconds away from a gold medal. There's another coach in the crowd, a backseat driver there. Comes up, walks off in a little bit of a daze. He's going to need to be patched up. Concern, well calm from the Iranian coach, I think we should say. As Hamza is patched up, not sure where, with his fingers. Gives him a little bit of a break. See the earpieces there that the, uh, the Korean referee is wearing. That puts her in contact with the judges. It's a whole panel of them, there's dozens of them down there. Some with specific responsibilities more than others, depending on the bout. But everyone can chip in and have a look at the evidence. Taking a while to patch up, comes up. As we see, he's looking there, a little bit of blood perhaps. If we look down at that replay. Getting encouragement from the large Kazakhstani delegation in the crowd. Oh. 
And back he comes. There's the clock ready. Yes, it is. 100 seconds to go. Comes up with it all to do. Now, Wazari, that Malay has in the bank, would be enough if there's no more score. Down goes comes up. He's having to make the running. Molly happy to look as if he's attempting to pin his opponent. Make every attempt to do it. The referee is giving him time to do it. He's in the box seat. He's showing attacking intent. Furious instructions being shouted out. The coach being told to quieten down, and he's put his hand in front of his mouth. The clock is ticking down. The Kazakhstani coach is going mad. Twenty seconds for Said to nurse this lead. It's not going to be a pin. Has to make sure there isn't a sanction. Molayi, there isn't. The clock ticks down. Molayi has gold. Molayi takes gold. Well. Got there in the end by the slimmest of margins. Wazari, two sanctions against him, walking the disciplinary tightrope. Molay squeezes home. A tough bout between the two of them. There's his coach who was, could barely contain himself. Disappointment for comes up. Have to make sure there haven't been any last minute sanctions. That I think is what we're looking at. Video evidence was Molay pulling down. Molay was pulling down in the last seconds on Kamza. Hansaku against Molay. Disqualified. Kamza wins the final. Embraces his coach who had his coach who had kept his counsel throughout that match whilst those around him were losing their heads.